Hey everybody, welcome back to Monterey Market. We have another unboxing video for you guys today. Today we have a Dollar General uh, palette we just purchased. Uh, we have three of them. This is our first one. I think we're gonna just split this one up in uh, in parts. Probably every every palette probably make two or three videos out of it because these are really big palettes and there's so much stuff in them. So make sure to like and subscribe us. Uh, hit the, the bell for notifications when we post another one. So this is part one. Uh, these run oh, usually run about five hundred dollars. Usually, what DG palettes run everywhere that you go. So uh, how to dive right in, I'll bring her some more boxes and uh, show you what she got. First thing that she just opened was just little bottles of hand sanitizer. These are the case, case pack. Uh, there's 12 of them in each little box. We usually just give these away at our yeah. yard sales. So I do two for 25. Yeah, same thing. So 24 bottles of hand sanitizer. This stuff's everywhere right now. So we just you give it away or like two for 25 cents or something like that. So. Okay. Looks like we might've got some Easter stuff in here. Um, some Easter clusters, a tablecloth. Um, there's some really cute Easter decorations in here. Yeah. Um, that's, that's one thing about DG. Like, I mean, like really cute the seasonal actually. stuff isn't like the best, uh, but like stuff like this, we don't mind getting because I mean, people are still gonna buy these at our sales and stuff. Like the like, Easter decorations, tablecloth. It's hard for like the Easter eggs or like the Easter dying kits or Valentine's Day stuff, here. but this stuff usually will sell. One of those. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. That, we fun. haven't got much Easter like actual decor. Like um, we've got more like Easter eggs and dye in any of our palettes than anything. So that's just like uh, Halloween and Christmas. We sell Halloween and Christmas all the time, like all year long, no matter what yeah. you know time of day it is or what time of year it is. All right, and this keep it on my Easter kick here. This is a case pack full of Easter eggs. Um, this whole thing is full all the way to the top. So this is a case pack of rugs or doormats. These are five dollars oh, each nice retail. Thing. There's three of them in here. The first one has a hole in it, I think. Yeah, from uh, just like shipping. You can see right here. But it's just a case pack of doormats, five bucks. Just black rubber ones. So I'll probably get you know two or three bucks a piece out of these at our sales. Uh, she just opened this. this. is a case pack of coffee filters. So 150 coffee filters in each one. Color value. Just simple coffee filter. <laughs> Alright. So this is kind of what I would call a hodgepodge box from DG. Um, there's some of these round storage like Tupperware things. And then the rest of it is full of brand new like kids clothes. Like there's shorts, there's little vests. Um, well, women's shorts, some more shorts. This is a case pack of insect or insect repellent. Repellent. There's twelve of these bottles in here. L little like toddler, yeah, three T uh, girl swimsuits, like a Easter shirt, springy shirt. Um, yeah, this whole box is full of just uh, of miscellaneous clothes. All these are brand new with tags, sweatpants. I mean, so there is, this, this is a lovely box. I mean, all these are have $6, $4, $5 retail value. We usually get about two or three bucks a piece at our sales, so. Soap you know. dish, there's three of them in here. They retail for $3 a piece. Another nice box right there. Open this one backwards. Huh? You open that one backwards, there you go. Sorry. So we got these, I think, in a, another palette we did. They're little uh, chicks. They're, uh, they, they hop. They're little Easter chicks. And they and sold they, really good. Yeah, they did. We had like 25 cents for them, and they sold like within like two hours. So oh, that's kids were shot. getting them. There you go. And just playing with them and prepare to take it home. So yeah, this is a good box. So this is a case pack. Oh, uh, more than the lids. The lids, yeah. Case pack of these stair light boxes. So all these are those stair light boxes. Uh, we do really well with storage. Uh, we had a bunch of these storage things that we retail arbitraged from Kroger at our last sale, and we got like three or four dollars a piece for them. So awesome, awesome find right there. Those sell really quick. And then, yeah, you heard how I say awesome. I mean, this is <laughs> why we like DG. So this is a case pack of band aids, band aids, and bandage rolls. So this is all Rexall waterproof band aids. All different sizes, bandage rolls, the non stick one, clear ones. So there's what? There's a case pack of Vanity Fair napkins in here. There's 
10 packages of these in here. Yeah. Four, 14 boxes of Aid-Aids and, and rolls and stuff in that. So, awesome find there. Stuff. Woo. It's quite humid out where we're at today. <laughs> Dollar General is by far my favorite stuff to buy. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's it's super cheap to get, and it moves so well for flea marketers and yard sellers like us. Two of these nice lanterns. Yeah, even that, that'll that solve a basic marketplace. I mean, I don't know what that retail retails for. $20 a piece. Yeah, so, nice. $40 retail value box. We'll probably get uh, 20 or 25 for both for total for both of them. Sometimes it's hard not to keep everything. Yeah, that's the good thing about DG. Yeah. Like, I mean, you can stock up your own house too. I mean, we get a lot of laundry soap and toilet paper, mm -hmm. you know, basic cleaning supplies and stuff like that, and we just keep a lot of it. So, um, this is basically like Dollar, this is a case pack like Dollar General's version of uh, poopery. So, you just spray it in your toilet and it's lavender scented. There's another case of those chicks that we were talking about just a second ago. And the, this is really handy. It makes your yard sales look really neat. All of the display boxes come in these since they're case packed. So you can set these out on your table and you're good to go. It I looks might really have to nice. keep some of these for Buddy. Yeah. And again, really good stuff with our little one. You know, he runs around. This is case pack of bubble wands. So there's all different characters. There's Spider-Man, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse. Our little guy has just discovered Spider-Man. And, so. and Frozen. So there's like, here. what, 18 things in here. They retail for a dollar a piece. So. Um, that whole box right there is Easter egg dyeing kit. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it, I mean, we'll probably get a quarter a piece yeah. of if we're lucky. <laughs> if not, they'll sit in storage till so next Ooh, year. My water. And we'll, we'll just make a big lot out of them next year. <laughs> Interesting. What are those? utensil holders so they're a little like oh, owl. owl a case pack of owl utensil holders there's, that's interesting there's eight of them in here they retail for four dollars a piece we'll probably get a dollar fifty or two bucks a piece for them at our sale but case pack again here's a case pack of paper plates those usually sell pretty well for us as well <laughs> that was the first thing to go the last time we had about a month ago we had a case pack of clear plates that's probably like waist high on me we had a dollar fifty on them and they literally went within probably three hours. We learned that you might be able sport. to charge a little bit more. Another case back of those. Chicks. Chicks. These are very well sealed. Yeah, it's all case back stuff. So you can yeah. tell it's clean. Not, it's not dirty. Easter, Easter candy? That's what I'm thinking. Easter candy, let's see. As a bunny with gumballs. They retail for $1.35 each, so each one of them has a little uh, some candy in it. We'll probably get this away to kids. This is a case pack of oh, nice. Supercross bike toys for little boys or yeah. girls who are into Supercross. Yeah. So, yeah. Case can't let our little guy see that. And yeah, we'll keep every color. And that's the good thing about DG. You get a wide variety of anything and everything. I think we'll. Had this one for part one. Let's run out of that one. That sound good? Yeah. We'll, probably keep, we'll try to keep them around like under 10 minutes, yeah, and I think we're pushing for 10 minutes. So, yeah. what? Grab the other one. Yeah. This is a case pack of the oh, nice. two piece bath rugs. And what's nice about this is all different colors. And they can hang up. And they can hang on our thing. And then here's Some more. Those retail for $12 each. Those are heavy. I mean, we'll, we'll probably put five bucks probably on them. That's say. a nice box. I mean, when you get all this stuff, and these towels, they come like seven, eight foot tall. So, I mean, you get an absolute ton of stuff that you can move. So, and our last box of part one, like I said, we'll, just, we'll split these up in probably two, two videos per pallet. So, this will be the last box for, for uh, part one. Make sure and uh, like, subscribe, and we'll tune in for the second part of this pallet. Oh, so, this is going to be all case pack. Well, it's not case pack, but it's all clothes. These retail for $8. So they're like those men's thermal long sleeves. 
And what's nice about this is with our yard sales, we've, we've invested in clothing racks. Um, so literally all we have to do is price these and hang them up. Yeah. So it's women's so easy for us. A bunch of the same kind of women's sweatpants. And yeah. I don't know what it is about Dollar General clothes or if we just mark them cheap, but we they sell, sell very quickly for yeah. us. So this was uh, part one. We appreciate it, guys. This is an excellent palette so far. A lot of good stuff that we can use at home and that are good for our sales. So please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.